Hello, everyone. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're doing good and fine. This is again your teacher, Jaja, and welcome again to our class. All right. So this week is the... How many weeks are there already? Is it 12? The 12, right? So this time is the 12th week of our lesson. All right. So are you ready for this week's lesson? Are you ready? All right. Very good. You should be ready. Okay. So before we are going to start, just a little review, everyone. Last week, we were discussing about noun, right? So parts of speech before that one, sorry. I would like to remind you or review about parts of speech. There are eight parts of speech, right? We have noun, pronoun, adjective, verb, adverb, preposition, conjunction, and the last one is interjection. Okay, so last week, we were discussing about a noun. Okay, what is a noun? A noun is a name of everything. All right, so there are four kinds of noun as a name. We have a name of person, a name of place, sorry, a name of thing, and the name of, a, of an animal. All right, so last week also, we were discussing about two types of noun. So what are the two types of noun? We have the first one is the common noun, and the second one is the proper noun. Okay, so common noun are the common name of person, thing, place, and animal. Well, on the other hand, the proper noun is the proper name of a person, thing, place, and animal. All right, so I hope you do understand about noun. Do you understand about noun? Right, that's good, very good. Now this time, we will proceed to the second uh, or the second part of speech. What was it? What is the second part of speech? Okay, let's find out. All right, so the second is what we call a pronoun. Okay, again, putam, pronoun. The last week we have discussed about noun. Now this time we are going to discuss about pronoun. Are you ready? Right, very good. Now let's proceed. Okay, so question first, we have, what is a pronoun? Okay, what is a pronoun? So what do you think pronoun is? All right, we are going to discuss about it. Wait, I am going to make this small. Okay, so pronoun are words that we use to substitute noun or another Pronoun. When we say substitute, this one, it means salap. Naka? Salap. Substitute noun. I mean, yes. Substitute noun into pronoun. Okay? Now, next we have... So, another question is, what are the examples of pronoun? Okay? Since pronoun are the words that are we are using to substitute noun so what are the examples of pronoun okay let's find out all right so here are the examples of pronoun when you were in pratum 4 we have discussed about this one right many times even when you were in pratum 3 we have discussed this one already all right now examples of pronouns are we have he she they, I, you, we, it, his, her, him, my, our, them, and us. Okay, actually there are many more, but these are just only an example. Do you remember it now? Remember na? What is pronoun? All right, very good. Now let's proceed. Okay, so another question is, we have, how do we use this pronoun? So how do we use this one in a sentence? All right, that's a very good question. Then let's find out later on. Okay, next is here. Look at this chart. We have this pronoun chart. Okay, pronoun chart. 
As what you can see here, there are five types of pronoun. Okay, again, five types of pronoun. We have one, two, three, four, and five. The first one is subject pronoun. Second, object pronoun. Third, possessive pronoun. Okay, ah, sorry, possessive adjective. And then possessive pronoun and reflexive pronoun. All right, so what are these pronouns for? How we are going to use them in a sentence? Okay, now we are going to find out later on. All right, so before that one, please look at here. There are here at the left side, as what you can see, there is the first person, second person, and the third person, male. When we see male, it means a boy. This one, M-A-L-E, it means a boy. And then third person, female. When we see female, that is a girl, okay? Again, this is first person, second person, and third person. We have boy and a girl. Now, here is the third person, another one, but this is all referred to one person, singular, okay? Or these are only one person, singular. Now, in the down part, down, as what you can see here, there is a first person plural. When we say plural, it means many. Many, there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, and so on and so forth. That is plural, okay? Again, look at this chart. The chart is divided into five types of pronoun. Subject pronoun, object pronoun, possessive adjective, possessive pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. And also, it is divided into three group of person, first person, second person, and third person, okay? Now, all right, so since this chart is like a little bit hard, yeah, difficult, okay? This time we're not going to cover, or we're not going to take the lesson of all the five. We are going only to have the first one, we have the subject, pronoun, any subject, pronoun, because this one is very easy. So this time we're just going to discuss about it, okay? Now, to make this one clear, all right, so today we will be learning only about subject pronouns. So what is a subject pronoun? They are subject and a sentence, okay? These are what we call subject in a sentence, all right? Now, let's proceed. So since the chart is a quite hard, quite difficult, so let's have here another one. Look at this one. Okay, so this, this is referred to the subject pronouns, okay? The chart number one. The chart number one, that is the subject pronoun. So here it is. Now look at this. We have you. How do we? You, it means kun. And then I. We. It. It prewalai. It is for a, um, an animal or a thing that is only one, okay? Animal or thing that is only one. The pronoun is it. The she, she is for the girl and he is for the boy. They is referred to many. Two person, three, four, five, six, okay? That is they, all right? Now, another example we have here the same subject pronouns. We have I, you, he for the boy, she for the girl, it for the cat. Like we, it means many. Like you, which is, there are two types of you. You for pundiao, like you for like one, okay? You for singular and you for plural, okay? And then they for many, okay, right? All right, now let's proceed again. Okay, look at these more examples. So as a subject in a sentence or what we call subject pronoun. Okay, look at this one. Please read. Okay, please 
read and understand. Okay, we have boy, number one. I mean, boy, only one. When there is one, it means only one. So what is the pronoun of a boy? Okay, if we're going to substitute it in a pronoun, his pronoun is he, H-E, okay, he. Like a girl, if it is only one, that is she. Kajemai, very easy, right? Ngayma. How about thing or animal? Again, thing or animal, which is only one. The pronoun is it. Okay, again, he, she, it, if it is only one. Okay, now look at this one. We have boys. Mi es lao, it means many. Sungkon and more. All right, so what is the pronoun? The pronoun is they. Kajemai ka? They. How about the girls? Mi es lao, it means many. Like on. The pronoun again is they. Okay? Now, here, how about things or animals? Things or animals, if it is two or more, the same, it is they. All right? Do you understand? Am I again? Boy only one, he. Girl only one, she. Thing or animal only one, it. Boys, many, they. Girls, many, they. Things or animals, many, they do I. Okay, Mai? All right, very easy. Okay, Max, Mai? All right, so how we are going to use the word we? We is composed of two pronouns. It is you and I. You and I, that is we. Okay? It means like on the Y. All right, when I say I, on the All right, so you and I, we. Kikon, songkon. All right. Do you understand? Very good. Now let's proceed to more examples. All right, here. Look at this one. So this is the easiest one I got from the chart, the first chart, right? So subject pronoun singular. What is singular? It means only one. And plural, it means many, two or more. We have first person, second person, and third person. Okay, for the first person, if it is only one, we have I. If it is plural, we have we. We kick on to song con or some con. Tamay, you and I. You and I, we. Okay, remember that. Now, for the second person, we have if it is only one singular, you are you going to use you. You. Only one, referring to one person. Now, you can also use you for many. Example, I would say students. Students, like one. You, students. All right. So, they make, huh? Yes, very good, very good. Now, third person. So, the, here comes the he, she, it. No? If it is only one, he for the boy, she for the girl, and it for a thing and animal. If it is many... You're going to use the pronoun they. Okay? All right. So, teacher, what is the subject pronoun? Subject pronoun, they are the subject in a sentence. They are the one who perform the action. Okay? They are the one who is like, um, how do you call this one? They are the ones who perform the action and they are the ones we are talking about in a sentence that is what we call subject all right let's have here some of the examples okay in a sentence for you to understand now sentence number one we have i am hungry i am hungry okay i chan or pum that is i am hungry 
So I is a subject. Ta my subject teacher because I is the one who perform the action. Okay? I pen alive, pen hungry. Ka jemai ka? So I here is what we call subject and I is a first person pronoun. Next, she. She is happy. Now she is a girl for Kikon. Only one person. All right. So she been alive. She is happy. She is a subject because she performs the action. All right. She is doing the tam tam tam, doing the action in a sentence. Okay. Number three. They are playing football. Again, they are playing football. Number four, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. Number five, he is reading a book. He is reading a book. Number six, we are laughing. Laughing. <laughs> like that. We are laughing. Okay, so these are the examples of subject pronoun. Okay, so please remember. Please remember, Cham. The subjects are usually seen at the very first part of a sentence. Now, what does this, this, uh, what is this mean? This means that the subject always on the first part of the sentence. This, this one, Ani. In the first, they are, uh, they are not located in the middle, tongklang, and the last, so tie. Example sentence, payok ni. Payok ni. Number three, payok ni. Lako, the subject is in the first. Machay tongklang, machay sukay. Okay? You can see the subject at the very first of the sentence. Always remember that. That is why it is called subject pronoun because it is the first, the subject, and it performs the action. Therefore, it is in the very first of the sentence. Machay in tongklang, machay in sutai. Okay, that is first. Kajemai ka? Right, so you always have to remember that. Now, okay, so another question is, how do we substitute these pronouns? So, how do we, we are going to substitute? Okay, how yang rai substitute salap? All right, so we're going to have that be discussed. Okay, example we have here. This is how we do it. Example for singular. Okay, example to a young, singular, only one. We have Rex is watching a movie. Now, Rex is watching a movie. What is the subject in the sentence? Subject alive. The subject is Rex, Chamai. This is a boy. Rex is a name of a boy. Now, Kikon, how many person? There is only one. Jamaica, Rex. Rex Diao. So, what is the pronoun of boy? He. So, you're going to say the answer is he is watching a movie. Okay? Very easy, right? Again, he is watching a movie. Tamai he. He tamai ka. Pro. Rex is a boy. Lako kundiyo. Okay, my? Right. Number two. Shella is crying. Again, Shella is crying. What is the subject in a sentence? Or in the sentence? The subject is Shella. Shella is a girl. Kikon. Only one. So what is the pronoun? The pronoun is she. She is crying. So you're going to substitute salap. She lala ko she. Alright. Next, the dog is barking. Barking prevalai. Ow, ow, ow. That is barking. Okay. The dog is barking. Dog. It's an animal. Kian. Kitua. Only one. So what is the pronoun? It. Okay. So you're going to say it is barking. It Meaning to say, it's a dog. It refers to a dog. Okay? Now, how about the teacher? Ani alai? 
All right, listen carefully. If there is a da before the noun, because dog is a noun, so my dog is a noun animal. So if there is a da, like a dog, and then there is a verb, when you are going to substitute the pronoun, sala pronoun, may tongkian da. Okay, may tongkian. The it is barking. No, that is wrong. Do not write or do not say da. Lako pronoun. The he, the she, the it. That is wrong. Okay? Do not say that. You're going to say it is barking. The painai teacher. May ro painai. Pailao. Okay? Again, do not use the when the following word is pronoun. Okay, my? Right. Very good. Do you understand? Very good. Now, are you ready for the next one? Okay, let's proceed to the plural. Okay, plural. When I say plural again, it means many. Songkon, sangkon, sikon, makmak, yo. All right. So, here for the example number one, the boys, me as, it means many, are playing football. Again, the boys are playing football. Okay, so boys here is many kikon. I don't know. How many person? I don't know, but it's many. When we say many, it is it means two person, three person, four person. Okay, and many more. So what is the pronoun for many or plural? That is they. T-H-E-Y. They. So you're going to say, they are playing football. All right. They are playing football. Now, teacher, where is the da? Da pai nai. Pai leo. Okay. I don't know where. So again, do not use the when you have the pronoun. May tongkian da. Okay. The boys, tamay the boys, because boy is a noun. Noun, prewalay, person, pun. Kamay ka? So you're going to use the. It's okay. But when it is, there's a pronoun, may tongkian da. Kajay may ka? So you're going only to say, they are playing football. Okay, my? Right, very good. Now, number two, Shella and May are taking, oh, sorry, Oh, this is actually talking. Put, kui. Shell and May are talking to each other. Okay, talk. When I say talk, it's kui. All right. Now, Shell and May, what is or what are the subject? How many subjects are there? Okay, in this sentence, number two, there are two subjects. All right. Who are they? Shell and May. Misong kon. All right, so con it means pron uh, it means plural. So what is the pronoun for plural? That is again they. Okay, so the answer is they are talking to each other. Okay, now here are you can just identify because I underlined the subject. Okay, underlined kit. So said boys, la Shella and me. Okay, do you understand? Now, let's go to number three. The books are heavy. Again, the books are heavy. Now, the subject in, in the sentence number three is book or books, right? So, how many books are there? He and books, many. Tamay, mi S. Okay, there is an S, so it means plural. So here, what is the pronoun for the books if it is many? Okay, the, pro, the pronoun is they. So you're going to say they are heavy. Heavy prewalai. Nak. Okay, nak. Heavy. The books are heavy. Okay, nang supen heavy. Pinak. Naka? Kaje may ka? Right, very good. Now, let's go to number four. The number four is you and I will go to the market. Again. You and I will go to the market. Now, what is the subject in the sentence? 
Okay, the subject is you. Lako I. Kikon. Songkon. You. Lako I. Chamai. You and I. Songkon. All right, so what is the pronoun if we are going to substitute to a pronoun? The pronoun is we. We are going to the market. Now, teacher, tamay we. Tamay my day. All right. We, because I am referring to the pronoun you is a pronoun. Pronoun leo. I, pronoun leo. Tamay? They are already pronoun. Already pronoun. So, pronoun like a pronoun is we. Kau jemai ka? Voice noun. Shela and main noun. Books noun duai. So they are, if they are going to substitute to pronoun, they will be they, they, they. Lako you and I, we. Do you understand? Okay, let's find out if you understood. Okay. Now, so let's do some exercises. Okay, let's do some exercises. It means we're just going to have a just a little exercise of the mind okay so here it is now what is the correct pronoun as a substitute to the following underlined subject again what is the correct correct like talk correct pronoun as a substitute salap to the following underlined subject kit underlined subject okay for the sentence number one you and i will go to sleep you and i will go to sleep so the subjects here are you lako i kamay songkon so what is the pronoun okay everybody think about it please think about it kit kun kit na ka okay let's find out later number two the bird is flying all right, again, the bird is flying. What is the subject? The subject is bird. Tamai, kian, or kitua. Only one. What is the pronoun? You think. Next, number three. Min Min and Roy are playing. Min Min, Lako Roy are playing. What is or what are the subject? The subjects are Min Min, Lako Roy. Kikon, Songkon. So, what is the pronoun? Okay, you are going to think about it. Are you ready? In five, four, three, two, one. All right, time is up. Let's find out what are the answers. Okay, so the answer we have for number one. We will go to sleep. Okay, who got the correct answer? Please raise your hand. We will go to sleep. Tamay we teacher, because you lako I. Always remember that you and I is equals to we. Okay, that is number one. For number two, we have number two. It is flying. Why is it it? Because bird is in, is an animal. Lako ang Okay, so it is flying. And number three, we have they are playing football. Okay, tamay they because there are two person min min lakoroy. ka? There are two persons. So the answer is they. They are playing. Do you understand it now? ka? Right, very good. Okay, so this time. How is it? Okay, everyone, this time we're going to have a test. So get ready. Please get ready. We will have a test. Okay, get your notebook and write one to 10. This is one to 10 items. All right, so what you're going to do, please copy the following sentences and write the correct pronoun of the following underlined words okay so you are going to copy the sentence Lako, you are going to substitute the pronoun salap so how is it done teacher you should do like this one Ani. how is it 
Oh, sorry. Wait for a moment. So here. Okay, here, this one. You are going to do like this, Naka. You're going to copy the sentence. Example numbers, number one. The boys are playing football. So you're going to copy. The boys are playing football. Ako kian answer. Answer. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Number two, copy. Lako answer. Number three, copy. Lako answer do I. Kao Do you understand? Okay, very good. Now let's proceed again. Okay, just for a moment, please. All right, so are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, let's proceed. So I am going to read the sentences one by one. So you're going to listen carefully. And again, copy the sentence and write the answer at the bottom. Okay, down, bottom. Example number one, lako answer. Number two, lako answer. Do you understand? Okay, you should understand. Do. Right, let's proceed. Number one, Jojo is carrying a basket. Again, Jojo is carrying a basket. So Jojo here is a boy. Okay, again, Jojo is a boy. Number two, Junjun and Nene are watching Spider-Man movie. Again, Junjun and Nene are watching Spider-Man movie. Movie prawalay, papayun. Naka Spider-Man papayun. So they are watching, watching. Okay, so the underlined words. And in number two, kikon, kikon ta, songkon chamay. Okay, you're going to think the answer. Number three, my pen is missing. My pen is missing. Number four, Winnie and I will eat some cake later. Again, Winnie and I will eat some cake later. Okay, number five. The girl is driving, sorry. The girl is driving her bike. Again, the girl is driving her bike. Next. The doctors are busy with the patients. Again, the doctors are busy with the patients. Doctors, me S. Okay, remember that, there is an S. Number seven, Mr. Bean is doing some jokes. Again, Mr. Bean is doing some jokes. Number eight, the cat is cute. The cat is cute. Number nine, you and I are happy. You and I are happy. And number 10, last number, we have Mrs. Pai Chamnan is doing her work at home. Again, Mrs. Pai Chamnan is doing her work at home. Mrs. Priwalaini, do you know what is Mrs.? Hmm? Is it a boy or a girl? Okay, you have to think about it. Again, you're going to substitute the pronoun into the underlined words, underlined kit, kit words. Ani? Jojo, Janjan, and Nene, my pen, ako, Winnie, and I. These are the underlined words. And do not write the if you are going to use the pronoun. Kajay mai, may tongkian da na ka if you're going to use the pronoun. Okay? All right, very good. Did you get it? Very easy, right? Okay, so I hope so you get it. So, good luck, everyone. And see you again in our next lesson. Okay, so next week, we will be discussing another types of pronoun. That is the object pronoun. Again, this week, we only discussed about the subject pronoun. Okay, so I hope you understand our lesson. See you again in our next video, in our next lesson. Bye, everyone. Take care.